Today, one quarter of people in the developing world live on less than $1.25 a day. Breaking out of poverty is tough, especially when your opportunities are limited. The fact is, two billion people can't get a bank account, restricting their access to basic financial services, making it harder to save, to borrow, to pay bills or be paid. While small microfinance institutions have emerged to serve the poor, they've been hampered by the costs of doing so, by the costs of computers, administration, salaries, software, held back by time-consuming manual processes, by the limited products they can offer, and by the high interest rates they need to charge to cover their costs. It's not just restricting the number of microfinance institutions, but the number of people they can serve and how well they serve those people. Well, here's the big idea. What if we could slash the costs of intermediation by completely eliminating the IT overheads? What if we could give every MFI the infrastructure to operate efficiently and transparently to bring banking services to the unbanked? It starts by connecting even the remotest reaches of the world with the most modern banking facilities, and it's made possible thanks to the power of cloud computing. All they need is an internet connection, power and some basic computer kit. Using a web browser, they can securely access banking applications and transform the way they operate, taking advantage of new delivery channels like mobile banking and creating products to allow customers to respond to new opportunities. In this way, small MFIs are able to help a broad range of customers and build on best practices of the most progressive MFIs globally. What's more, the MFIs get to use the technology without having to own it. So gone is the need to buy costly banking software, hardware and backup systems. Out goes the need to manage and maintain it. All those costs and headaches, gone. Instead, they can run their businesses with the efficiency of leading global banks without the overheads, reducing their transaction costs and making it commercially viable to extend their banking services to the poor. The result? More MFIs with more customers and more people with access to essential financial services. More people able to participate in the global economy, able to start businesses, to build wealth for themselves and their communities, and lift themselves out of poverty once and for all. Welcome to the age of participation.